Welcome back everyone, this is Ultra Lavos playing Final Fantasy IV. I apologize about that last video, how it cut off so abruptly. But that was me, uh, my fault, hitting the stop button instead of the pause button. So I will try not to do that. I'll try to refrain from doing that. Tella is like so useless, he's level 30, he doesn't even have 600 HP. And on top of that, he only has 90 MP. So he runs out of magic really easy, so I haven't even been casting anything, because I need to use it on the pudding guy. And I've got to heal him like after every other battle, and I'm not going to use him to heal himself, because he has hardly any magic points, so I'm using Cecil. Which is fine, because I don't really use Cecil's magic for anything yet, right now. He's just in there, you know, hardcore smacking it up. Okay, so now we're on the fourth floor, I believe it is. We're gonna go over here. Alright, let's climb up here and see what's in these rooms. Probably some goodies. Oh, Poison Claw. We'll give that to Yang, obviously. It's the place of his Thunder Claw. There you go, Yang. And is there a treasure down here? Possibly. Yes, there is. It's a fire shield. We'll give that to Cecil. And I'll meet you all outside this room. Tella just gained a level. He's got over 600 HP now, but still 90 MP. Which the reason of that, of course, is so we can't use Meteo. There's an Earth Hammer, and that's going to go to Sid. That sh should up his attack power quite a bit. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell am I doing? Come on. You don't want no wooden hammer. That's what you want. Oh yeah, that put it at 83. Okay, let's see what's in door number three. Wizard robe, which we're going to save that. We're not going to give it to Tella because, yeah. Because honestly, Tella does not deserve it. In fact, I should just strip him of all his belongings, which I just might do. Yeah, see how he likes that. All right, time to go this way. Here we are back on the fifth floor. I wonder what's behind this door. This is a safe spot where I'm going to use a cabin real quick. Figured y'all didn't want to watch that. It's just me sleeping in a cabin. Needed to get Tella's 90 MP back to full. Oh, what's going on here? This is a boss. You might recognize from Final Fantasy X. This boss was a summon. Do you know who they are? Yes, it is the Magus sisters with their Delta attack. And this boss has some strategy going on. See this one in the middle, Cindy? You're going to want to beat the crap out of her first because she has the ability to resurrect and heal her sisters. And Tella, you can just parry. Uh, the, the tall one, I think Sandy, will... Uh, or Mindy. Mindy might be the tall one. We'll cast... I think it's Sandy. We'll cast Wall on Cindy. And you know what Wall does. If we cast Magic, it'll just get reflected. Tell her go ahead and swing. So we're just meleeing her until she dies. And they're using their little Delta attack, bouncing it off the reflecting Wall. Tell you cannot melee worth a crap. You can't really do anything right. Why don't you just leave my party? Okay, now that Cindy is dead, we can focus on the one in the front with our meleeers. And look, Ice too. Because she's going to cast Wall on that one in the front. Ventella can cast Fire 3. 
Well, and the tall one in the back, which I believe is Sandy, but I'm not for sure. But we'll find out shortly. Charm and Yang, that's not a good thing. But I don't really care. Whatever. Oh, that hurt. Don't punch Sid like that. Okay, now that one is dead. That was Mindy in the front. I was right. And now they're both charmed. So this could end up badly. He's poisoned and charmed too. That is just bad. Okay, Yang came to his senses. And that's not going to work there, Cecil. You can't use exit. Look at this. Yang's still beating himself up, even though he came to his senses. Sandy's getting burnt to a crisp. See, it wasn't that bad. They can be kind of tricky. I should have used heal when they were confused, but... I like living on the edge. Yes, your delta attack failed. Goodbye. Now, before I go through that door, I need to, uh, you know... Tell, uh... You're good for healing us. Let's get rid of this poison. And now you're out of MP, you worthless piece of crap. So we're going to cure everyone. And then I'm going to strip Tella. I'm going to pause it until then. Now would also be a good time to go over there, heal up in a cabin, and save. Which I did off screen. So, oh, there's Golbez. There's his ominous music. Here's the crystal, gimme Rosa. And he gave it to him first. You are stupid. See what happened? You should know better than that. He's an evil, evil, diabolical son of a bitch. And a traitor. He's not gonna uphold his part of the bargain. And Tella's gonna open up a can of whoop ass. Come on, Tella. See, Tella, you suck. That did nothing. There's Fire 3 and Virus. Okay, you're probably out of MP now. Oh, Blit 3. Well, there's 60 plus whatever Virus costs. Nice, there. You're definitely out of MP. There's no way I could have done that with you. Oh, no. Here comes Meteo. Do it. Do it. Do it. Who cares? We don't want him in our party anyways. Be noble, Tella. Sacrifice yourself to destroy Golbez. That is Meteo. Nine, 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 nine. The ultimate. And uh, old school Final Fantasy damage. And Golbez is dead. Nope, Tella's dead. And Golbez is alive and pissed off because he used the Meteo. Oh, but he's happy. He has the crystal. Now he can go do his evil plan. And Kane is no longer under under Golbez's control. Which is good. We have our best friend back. And Golbez just shot me with some lightning. Are you going to kill me? Better do it now while you have the chance. Okay, just run away, coward. Um, tell us dead, dude. Go check it out. Nope, he's alive. Or he's dead. And Sid is insulting him even on his deathbed. Sid, you're such a nice guy. Tella! 
Well, Tella's dead. I uh, use media. Golbez is weak. We still have Rosa to save, and there's Kane laying over there unconscious. Next time, we'll continue from here. Until then, this is Ultra Lavos playing Final Fantasy IV.